a name that not as many people know, not as many people kind of associate with Jigglypuff. Sure. And, you know, is a, I would say a, a good change of pace, uh, a Jigs that I'm more of a fan of. Uh, even as a former player, I can have some hot takes about Jigglypuff as a... Uh, as that people who, who know, follow my Twitter have seen, so. Hey. So Faust, for people that don't know, is from Ontario, ranked 38th in the SSBM 23 power ranking. And wins over Magi this year. What do you think of this FD pick? Kind of, kind of interesting. I mean, it's interesting from Sparks, and I'm a little bit surprised. Interesting. I feel like this is like bizarre. Like yeah. I, I guess is is this kind of like are they sipping the the S fat uh, strategy Kool Aid where it's like ah get get the weird stages out of the way. Like this wouldn't be like a, a terrible counter pick or something. Like unlike uh, going to FD versus a uh, Fox or something. But it still is like, is this just getting it out of the way? I have no idea what the players are thinking right now. But I would say it's more preference. Okay. I feel like they don't feel like it's that bad. And it kind of lets you feel out neutral in the way that you're playing here. I think it's more like a style choice. If you can play a style where you're very okay playing kind of laterally or horizontally, yeah. you're okay with, with a stage like this, right? I think it definitely simplifies stuff. Yeah. And I think because uh, Sheik has like good moves, she is able to like play that game. But you know, not traditionally a space where she does well. You know, this is kind of like no. if there was a an average good counter pick versus Sheik, it would be FD. Yeah, this is surprising. Let's we'll ask Spark about it uh, after this. But Spark was playing like very low to the ground. You know, yeah. like getting yeah. a lot of the crouch cancels, things of that nature. Ooh, oh, a little charge! Oh, oh, I love the charge. Just the one needle, one needle to go. That needle's gonna come so in handy. Oh, oh my, my god. god! Oh my god! Okay, actually, That's like that—that that was so good though. Like, <laughs> oh. it's the little things, okay? He's—he's—he's he's, he's dead now. He's like, yeah. it is we over. Get, get okay, so grab, 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 grab. Yeah. Oh no. No, no, no. Just the. Uh, just chilling. Just chilling. Yeah. Up tilt rest. He can charge another one right now. Ooh. Spark can hear you. He, he, he can't. Spark, Spark <laughs> but Faust can. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. They can definitely see us through their peripheral vision. Yes. Oh, I love the up tilt there. That's a, you gotta really watch out for Sheik's up yeah. tilt. It'll hit you with that last part, and you're like not ready for. It. I'm like almost never ready for it. It's so crazy. It's definitely in a category of move where like oftentimes they'll be well. There's like a bunch of characters in melee who have like really really good moves, and then everyone talks about those really good ones, and then there's like a second tier below that that's still amazing. But because it's so overshadowed by like fair yeah. back air uh, F tilt, we're like we're not all complaining about F tilt. Maybe we should be. Oh, no, that's great. Really good, especially against Falcon. I feel like yeah. you're like, oh no, we're complaining. So we're like, ch uh, check the check the logs. There's there's some complaints in the Discord. So far, really even though, really even here. I like that down tilt yeah. as well. Perfectly spaced. I will say, percent. I'm sold on this stage now. I feel like Spark is playing like brilliantly here. Yeah. I think if you play a certain style, you can get away with. Yeah. You can get away with playing this. Oh, this is a big open up though. Yeah. At that percent. And that proper DI, you're not really getting it too much from, from it for the puff. But it's though. so hard to get down is the thing. Like obviously yeah. Faust kinda ended up dropping it, but like yeah. how he got out was literally just a nair. It's like that that's what Sheik has to bring to the table in that spot. So I think the way the punish happens in this matchup is so much more positional and less about like raw percent. Yeah, even there. Just get like a forward tilt to forward air. Reset back to neutral. Yeah, a, a Spark is not overzealous yes. on any of these exchanges. Like, gets a dash attack, realizes I can't combo. Okay, I'll charge needles. Yeah. I think that goes a long way. Ooh, no grab after the down air, though. Uh-oh. That is a tough spot for Faust. Because Spark is just not pushing the issue. So it's going to be up to Faust to do it. Good roll in. I, I always think this whenever I'm playing. I, when I start a matchup, I ask myself this question. Am I trying to hit them, or are they trying to hit me? And I think that Sheik sometimes makes the mistake of being like, Got a hip pup. She's a defensive character, and it's like, wait a minute, your back air is huge. Like it is, it is bigger than hers. Slow down, and look at how that's paying off for Spark right now. Almost some DI that was gonna get KO'd by the the neutral air. But yeah, no, you're right. I think especially especially here, yeah, where you're course. going to get rested if you're off a little bit. Just, oh, okay. that's it. Yeah, good job, good job. Of course, once they get a lead, that dynamic shifts. But even then, even at the very top. Still being like they're trying to hit me can actually work out because like a lot of people just can't help but be like, I, I gotta hit them, I gotta engage. And like, again, puff players have kind of made an entire uh, persona around not doing that. 
but they're just as human as the rest of us. Yeah, playing the lead also really matters. So if you have a yes. percent or anything like that, then Spark has been doing a phenomenal job so far. And here's the counter pick from Faust's end, which is yeah. FD. Yeah. Which begs the question, why did they start there? Spark knows something that we don't. Like Spark knows a lot of things that we don't. <laughs> <laughs> also doesn't know a lot of things that we do know. <laughs> he, he, he's a man of extremes. I'll never forget him pulling out his debit card in front of me, man. <laughs> For those who don't know, Vish and I were at dinner with Spark, and then um, he pulls out his debit card, and it just has a, a full crack down the middle, and he's like, yeah, but the tab still works. And I was like, that says, that says so much about who Spark is. For better or for worse, and for better, for better, for better. I, I think for, for the better. better. He's like, it, I don't need to change it. Even there, Faust uh, not, or sorry, sorry, Spark not going yeah. in for the roll reads or falling for the roll read that Faust was trying to do. I like it. I think Spark is playing really disciplined, which is exactly what you need versus Puff. You really do. You need to like, like this is actually a matchup where you have to beat Puff at her own game. Yeah. Like a lot of the ways that she opens you up, you actually also have good ways to do that. But Sheiks are so used to, again, like playing the way they want to play in every other matchup that they kind of like lose sight of that. And Spark isn't. Yeah. You gotta make the Jigglypuff into the cracked debit card. Yeah. Yes, exactly. It doesn't matter, the tap still works. Oh? Yeah, no edge guarding. Don't go out there. There's no reason to go out there. The best part oh, of that that uh, conversation too was he's like, you know, the thing you have to understand about me, Radar, is that I can't do many, many things in life. Many things. Almost anything. But I can react and take uh, reaction tech chase Sheik and Uncle uh, Sheik and Fox and Uncle Punch for ten hours. And I was like I believe I believe you. I, I really believe you. And he's like, and that that gets you places. That so, really does. In the melee world, that gets you real far in bracket. Yeah. Oh man, great retreats from Spark, just not over committing. Okay, but on Faust said, what does Faust need to do yeah. in order to mitigate this mutual pressure? Because, I mean, Faust is keeping it relatively close, right? For everything we've been saying about Spark, it is still three stocks to three. It did go to last stock in the previous game. I think there's a couple things. I mean, one, getting an edge guard like that is actually enormous. Right. You need to close it out there. Yep. I think going for back air there is also really smart. Don't have to yeah. go for rest and then stock trade, so now you have a little bit of a lead to play with. This is where you camp the hell out of them right now. Like, right. I, think, I think that's, you're asking, like, what should you do differently? As much as we yeah. don't like to see it, I think, like, go to the next level, be like, I am not, you, you are coming to me now. And, like, even though Spark has done so well at committing to the game plan, like, it can start to fall apart with, with a rest right here. Like, all of a sudden, it looks so different. Oh, man, got the crouch. Actually, yeah. that's that could have been a lot. Oh, jumping around the shield, jumping around light shield. Spark does a bite, and I think also these aerials could be at least traded from the puff set, right? Like trade the back air with the forward air. Okay. Don't get too aggressive on the shark. Yeah, this is big. If you can get them up in the air, like it, it can really go far. That actually is one of the nicer things about FT. That might be why Faust is here, but for yeah, some yeah. reason, Spark absolutely. Spark uh, did a great job actually landing. Exactly. Somehow trading with Forder as you were landing, which is one of Cheek's big weaknesses, as you pointed oh, out. Not. I don't think that roll was intentional. I don't think so either. Yeah, needle damage here. So now back air is probably going to get KOs too. Pretty much like jab into up air. Is even dash attack just gonna KO raw dash attack? Yeah. Okay. Spark new too. Like, yeah. It, it definitely seemed like he's like, okay, th this is around the percent. Yeah. I think one thing that I feel like I'm not seeing that much from Faust is like a huge part of succeeding with Puff is um, rather than winning like small neutral situations with back air and over and over and again, you need to like win the big call out situations with, with like a tomahawk up tilt or something and then get yeah. the rest. And I feel like obviously you need a mix of both, but I feel like Faust is favoring the like playing Sheik on even terms thing a little bit too much. Like we've barely seen any, any rests at all. And of course, that's obviously Spark's good defensive play. But some of that is not just Faust letting it rip. Like going, okay, I'm going to try to go for like a high risk, high reward situation. I'm going to try to go for a call out. Um, and you, you do need that. I think with this kind of play style, the way that the set is going, if it goes to, or when it goes to the next game, yeah. and if it's Faust and Counterpick, I think you choose a stage with like some platform. Because, yes, of course. For yeah. the, the reason that you're talking about, it feels like Spark has a really good handle on how Faust wants to attack on this kind of, you know, horizontal plane. Uh, and it feels like there's no mix ups that Faust is 
getting spark wins yes. in order to get like those huge open ups with like an up air into a rest or an up tilt into a rest. And I think you can at least dance around the platforms a little bit more. Yeah. And then maybe try to get like a shark up air. There's like no sharking up airs that have really happened. But I mean, it is a strong counter pick. Oh my gosh. It's a strong yeah. counter pick. So I mean, it's, you can't fault the puck for going back. But just the way that the. The you can kind of fault them a little. No, <laughs> no, 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 okay, no. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, but I do, th I do think you gotta at least make some big changes in this one because on paper this is the right counter pick. So, I mean, I get it. But I just feel like it's just like I do, like, I do look, wonder. Look, look, look at the way that the, the back airs are like hitting. And like even if you get a back air, they're not like crazy huge back airs. But that's right? what I'm trying to say about the back air thing to begin with, where it's like you run down, you go and you hit a couple back airs, you win neutral, you get 20%. If instead you go for like, okay, I'm gonna try to like hard read a roll, or maybe I'm gonna try to like, uh, yeah, do a tomahawk into an up tilt or something, like that's what HBox is often going for. Compare the amount of rests that HBox would get versus Spark versus Spouse. Um, that is kind of the thing that makes Sheik feel like this matchup is so brutal. And uh, I do agree with you on the Tomahawks. You know what I mean? Tom like, Tomahawks would be great. Tomahawks especially be great with no platform. Yeah, 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 Tomahawks would be great. There's some empty empty hops into grabs. Some mix-ups here. But still pretty close. All the games have been close. For everything we've been saying, the games have been very close. But even that, like, that was a CC into a drill. Hopefully this kills. But it could have just been like a CCF smash instead as well. Right. That was a good punish, though. Off the top is great. It's Off fantastic. The top is great, so no punish there from Sparks Ed. Like, how many pounds have we seen? Like that, like, you know, it doesn't mean that you want to be using them all the time, but like right. throwing out like one or two in a set, like, I feel like that's the first one we've seen in the last couple games. Dash attack, I think, would also be in the same kind of like threshold of like that forward burst kind of option. We haven't seen like that kind of forward bursty movement from the Jigglypuff. Ooh, fantastic S match. See, that's what I mean. Like, even something like a, a raw F smash, like, obviously there's going to be a specific contextual time where it's good, but, like, I think we can fall into this trap in Melee where we go, like, Spark would never get hit by the F smash. It's like, okay, well, he definitely won't get hit if you never do it. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Ah, oh, man. Are you Michael saying Scott. you should always F smash? I am saying that. <laughs> all right. I'm a man of extremes, you know? I slice my debit card right in half. The tap doesn't work at all. All of this, whatever everything we've been saying, I feel like Fast has been trying to get, it's, it's get really, it back. It's really not a huge difference maker in all these games. It really yeah. is one of those 3-0s, but it's close. I feel like the the close 3-0 is actually such a real thing. It's a very that was not what, what Fast wanted. I think that was like the CC up smash or something, trying to go for like a early rest. Yeah. Oh, oh that, punish that, it! That, okay. I guess, you know, you want to get the reliable thing. You're a little worried you, you can't get the rest, but... Yeah. There's a dash tag. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Boom. Like, that was a good situation. Yeah, it didn't lead to a stock, but, like, getting Sheik off stage, like... No, but it's all, it also puts an idea into Spark's head that exactly. I have to worry about this new distance that the dash attack presents. There's, there's the empty up grabs. Okay. All right. It's happening. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Faust is adapting. Oh, okay. I think one thing I sometimes think about... Oh. I mean, that was like a bad situation no matter what. So yeah, it's an SD, but it's it's one of the better SDs if you're, if you're Spark. Yeah, definitely. It's weird that he's done two chains in a row, though. Play the lead. You got to play the lead. This is the tricky thing now, though, because you, you have to get the damage. Like, rest will not kill. And pretty much nothing works. So this is where, like, you're only seeing back air. And you just have to watch out for jab. Jab is going to be the real oh, big so thing yeah. that Sheik wants in neutral right now. Because even if you, okay, yeah, I mean, if you get hit by that, obviously. But jab is the connector. Rolled in? The pound is too high for the, the crouch? Like, too in that situation, for example, where Spark was cornered, H-Box positions for the roll read, like, two times out of ten, like, yeah, and, yeah, it, and yeah. it gets a lot of value. It's not all the time, but I'm beating this point to death, but you guys get what I mean. I still think this is very doable by Faust, but already it's looking a lot more rough. Yeah. Oh, dash attack. There it is. But Spark has a dash attack of his own. Holy shit. <laughs> dash attack again. Oh. Okay, okay. How does uh, Faust get out of the corner? Okay, big oh, knockdown. Yeah. Yes! Oh my gosh! There it is. We're going to game four. Okay, I saw Faust with a big smile. Yeah, I mean, you smiling after winning? I'm it makes sense. I'm saying yes, too. 
I actually. <laughs> yeah, I want to tell so so much. I it's I. I'm understanding stuff about myself right now that I wanted. I wanted Faust to do well. You know, sometimes it's like you know when you flip the coin and you realize you want it to land on tails all the whole way through. Yeah. You know, like in that moment, Faust won, and I was like, I want another game. The thing that's going to be tough though is all these games have been under the kind of confines of FD, and we're moving to, to bigger and better places or smaller and. Oh yeah, and it has all been FD. Yeah, huh? literally the whole set. Oh, my God. Another stage. I didn't know we have those. Okay. So Sparks counterpick. Pokemon Stadium. So this is the thing. I'm surprised, I'm surprised it wasn't like Yoshi's or something. Oh. Maybe that could have been a rest. I'm you gotta do the up air first, I think. It was just a little like you either little immediately do it or you have to do the yeah. uh, up air. You have to like instantly jump into the position. Yeah, exactly. It. Yeah, it's not a reactable one. That makes sense. Oh. Now we're seeing some of the movement off the platform, though. That wave land off the platform into back air is so juicy for Sheep. It's also fast. Okay, Faust with some crouch cancels as well. I will say Faust's drills have been fantastic this whole set. Yeah, different move choices are definitely working out as the set progresses. Okay, wow, what a great recovery from, from Spark there. Tries to DI to get an off the tech, I would imagine, yeah. and so if you don't hit the stage, you just go off in such an odd angle. Yeah. Okay. I feel like just the existence of platforms has changed the dynamic of this so much, and you pair that oh, with yeah, this is where it is. See? Uh oh. It uh -oh, is. Uh oh, we're going for a long set here, Radar. So this is the thing. Faust adapted, and then also adapted like in the most limited. Uh, setting where there was no platforms, where there was no other variables, and now that there are those variables, like I think it's helping even more. Okay. Yeah. Shades of Mutiking. Yeah. To the chain. He used to do that all the time. You know the chain is actually a really cool option as Sheik is like falling down, to do the chain as you're falling down. Because then the, as you're falling down, the chain hits them just a little bit. Zanya does this actually okay. quite a bit. So it, it saves Sheik from one of her worst situations where she falls down and gets hit. You know she's bad in a situation when she's pulling out the chain to get that better. Chain. Yeah, <laughs> like... Okay. Ooh. Oh. Nice, patience. And I like that, not going for an immediate tonnage. Just gets out of the way for where Spark is going to try to hit the, the up smash. Instead gets a back air. I like it. Faust playing real well. I feel like uh, Faust has started to set the pace for how this set is going to go, and Spark needs to kind of pull that back and kind of get get some uh, momentum, some tempo, or it's looking pretty Faust favored, even if the stock count is kind of close. Like, this is it's, this is a huge win. Yeah, 3-1 three, three is pretty decisive. Great grab. Great grab as well, yeah. Great grab. Oh my god. Does Spark go FD for game five? <laughs> what is happening? That's crazy that that, that could actually happen. <laughs> that, that spark decides to like, counterpick. The idea of a counterpick is really being like limit tested right now. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh man, they grab. Gotta take it down. Yeah. We're really good at, at finding ways to kind of t uh, time the perfect time to rip out a move on the way down. Spark also really likes doing down air on the way down. Oh. Oh my God. What? Okay, this should be. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> oh! Oh my, my god. god, we're going to game five! We're going to game five on a three stock. Notice I didn't scream yes there, because I don't know if I wanted to be like that either. It's That was insane. That was uh, that was like dominant. Like weirdly dominant. Yeah. Okay, well, Spark is only one on FD. <laughs> I mean like Yeah, that, right? that is true. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> Boom! Okay, goes to I was I did not think this was gonna go to the distance the I way those first either. two games went. I did I did like think why are we going back to FD? Because I think like I'm a big fan of switching stages generally, like especially if I feel like something specific was going wrong, but here's really how can you play the angles off the platform, right? Yeah. Like can spark do these kind of like needles off the platform, the wave lands off back airs. Gotta watch out for Faust holding down. Like the uh, Faust holding down is like Countering a lot of what Spark is doing. Almost leading to huge punishes. Good jump out of the grab there. You've got like the like Walter White meme of like, Spark! Spark no! Spark, but stop! No. You gotta watch out for him holding down! Like, just, they are like right here. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Spark but Spark, Spark has like two uh, bricks on his ears to prevent him from hearing us, and Faust is, Faust is going uh, 
he's mid set coaching positive. You know, oh, yeah. he likes yeah. he likes hearing the commentators. I don't know if that's true, but, no. <laughs> but we'll run with it. We'll run with it. <laughs> I've been told that's not the vibe. <laughs> I believe it. Oh, wow! The Huge back air, but oh man! Even then, the recovery there from Smart so good. Jump back forward air. You have to like put out the back air preemptively so that you trade with that kind of forward air. Again! Oh, I love that. Such a good point. Yeah. Okay, the drills have been crazy though. They Keep it simple. Oh my, the, the recovery, the recovery has been so good. I mean, that was like an extra two forward airs and a lot of mental pressure yeah. on Faust to like close out that edge guard. But also the drill god, man. Like I feel like every drill that Faust has been True. doing is so uh, specific. Nice. Watch out for CC. Okay, great spot dot. <laughs> From the car window. No! <laughs> like, he's doing it again. <laughs> At least we have a good bias back and forth. You're like, come on, Spark! <laughs> my guy! <laughs> I got the Canadian bias. Dude, that, that, that max distance back air is also really nice on shield from, from uh, Sheik's end. It's very difficult to punish. You kind of just have to let it go. Great trade. Okay. Staying on the top platform. Waiting out the invincibility Ooh, entirely. Patience. Yeah, great patience. Yeah, top okay. platform, just get some needles. I like it. The mechanics that Spark are using was not an option in the previous three games. Yeah. Going to top platform, then side platform, then top platform, then side platform. Yeah. Just was not possible, and it's working out really well. But as I say that, grab like, ledge, roll up, yeah. Oh my god, that's such good recovery! Yeah. First the DI on the backers were really good, that it just didn't net two backers just off stage and you're done. And then Spark with the crazy recovery onto the ledge. Oh, oh my god, what a beautiful tech! tech. I'm telling you. Okay, but these drills though, like, okay, what a good back and forth play yeah. by, like, that was so good by both of those players. Absolutely, that was sick. Not much percent was no. taken from Faust amidst all of that, which is very nice. Okay, great forward tilt, catching puff in the air. He's retreating forward airs. Oh my god, this spacing here has been so good as well. Oh, I love the downer though. Yeah. Great neutral air choice. Ah, that's a good choice. Because you see that the puff is holding down. Yes. So just grab. That time did not. Oh, oh, tried oh to okay. That okay. was a try to turn around grab, I think. Yes, I think it. so too. Okay, okay. Okay, is Spark kind of running away with it a little bit? Just a little bit, but it's puff, so you never know. <gasps> Again, these just edge grab guards. The edge. You could just do that. Oh, there it is. Look at the mix ups. I thought Spark was going to go empty off into grab, did empty off into double jab instead. Beating him at his own game, you know, like showing Puff that like I, I can do the empty hop stuff too. True. Okay, this should be it though. See yeah. That dash attack. I'm telling yeah. you, the dash attack. Okay. Last stock. Game five. This has been a slow burn, but it is ending on a on a high note. Yeah. Like it is. Who is gonna take it? Oh. After 15 minutes of gameplay. Okay. Crouch has been a huge factor here. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah. Just forward air retreat. That's fair. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh god. Oh, it's tense. I feel like one thing that Faust hasn't really done the whole set is punish the rolls that Spark has been doing. And oh. I feel like that could be the big momentum swing here. Okay, there to just get out of the pressure there. Oh god. Oh god, the roll like right there. That was the roll you're talking, you talking about. That could have been everything. Okay. Dash tag being grounded. Oh. oh my god, Venair saving Spark's life. That's it, Jab forward air, and what a set. I hope people watching were able to see just like how high level that set actually was. I feel like that is... What a back and forth. Spark played, in particular, very, very well the whole way through. Faust 